Welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to see ICSC Maths Class 7, Maths Today Chapter 10, Linear Inequalities. Today we will learn about what are linear inequalities and what are the symbols used in linear inequalities. First of all, we, know, we need to know that what are linear inequalities. So friends, as we have solved some linear equations in previous classes, we know that in a linear equation, the LHS is always equal to the RHS, right? So you can see over here that both the sides are equal. But friends, in inequalities, what happens is that the total opposite of this thing happens. So that means in an inequality, there is no clear value of the variable that is x. Suppose I write an inequality over here. Let us say x is greater than 3, right? Now friends over here, you can see that we don't have any equal sign, but you see that it is telling us that value of x has to be more than 3 but it is not telling a specified value like 4, 5, 6. It can be any number which can pretend the value of this x. Same ways if I say that x is less than 7. Again, it can be any value like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this, right? Or it can also be a negative value like minus 1, minus 2 and so on. Now, suppose I take one more inequality here. So 3 is less than x and x is less than 8, right? So you can see in this inequality, what we get to see is that the value of x is more than 3 and it is less than 8. So it can be 4, 5, 6 or 7. Any value can be this uh, value of a, a, x, right? Out of the four numbers, all right? Now you can see over here that I have used multiple numbers to make an inequality. So we can write inequalities like this as well. So let us move on. Friends, we now we will see what are the signs used in linear inequalities. So first up, it is the basic two signs which we have we, we have been studying from pre previous classes, right? So first of all, some sign like this I am making here, right? So this means what? Less than right so any number that is written to the left of this sign where this closed part is that number is less than the number towards this open part right so you can take an example like 5 less than 6 so you see 5 is less than 6 all right now if you simply oppose this thing so this becomes greater than all right again any number you write towards this open side will be greater than the number towards this closed side. So you can take an example, just reverse this thing, 6 is greater than 5, right? So you see that what the value of 6 is more than 5 here. Now we will see some new signs, two new signs, but they are almost the same, right? So first we have written here this less than sign and then this we have drawn a bar at this bottom, a horizontal bar. This represents less than or equal to. All right, so this is representing less than or equal to. So this means like suppose I take an example here, uh, we can say x is less than or equal to 6. Over here friends, the value here you see that this x and it is telling us that value of x has to be less than 6. So it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or any negative number as well. Or this bar over here tells us that what this is a, uh, that the value of x is equal to 6, right? Now we see the opposite of this thing. So like this, this means greater than or equal to. All right. So you see here again, simply uh, you can say that x is greater than 6 or equal to 6. Simple as that, right? So this is the value of that. And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Till then, stay home, stay safe, wear a mask, maintain social distancing and take care. Bye-bye.